absolutely. The lead singer, Serge. He's my next door neighbor. I, will, I drove past the other day. I was like, Serge, he's my next door neighbor. He's a legend. Uh, hey, Marshall Pro, we're here in Lamoth Garage 56. We're going to do one of our walk and talk videos, actually created by IMSA President John Doonan, who's the program manager for the hot rod you guys are going to get to drive. So here we are at Circuit de la Sarthe. You, Mr. Rockefeller, know this place well. Jensen, you've been here before. Mr. Johnson, this is a fresh one for First you. Time. Let's go for a little, little walk here. I love the fact that despite coming from three radically different racing backgrounds, you would never know that you guys hadn't been teammates for 20 years. Jensen, tell me about this bonding process with these two crazy guys next to you. It seems like it's been instant. We're, we're just very good actors. Very <laughs> exactly. This guy, I hate him. Yeah, me too. This one's no, okay. Hot but trash right hot here trash. is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're walking under something that Rocky knows very well, and we're yet to know very well, but the podium. Well, it's a special place I, for I you. would like to know it better. Actually. Exactly. <laughs> I bet you would. Oh, no. But, but this, this relationship, I, I raced against Rocky. We raced in DTM together when Super GT came over to race. Were you racing in the morning 2018? Yes, I so, think. So I was with Corvette. So we were both racing then. Uh, met each other through the years. And Jimmy, we uh, we spent a night in uh, Miami together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's um, us. There are NDAs on that night, yeah, if I remember, yeah. so we can't really crack that yeah. one open. And then we've, we've kept in touch over the years. I've gone to watch Jimmy race a couple of times um, in Cup. And, uh, and then we raced against each other yeah. for, for half a lap. <laughs> in Austin, so. performance, you know, that half a lap I made. Yeah. One, of, one of your finest. Yes. It is crazy to think that here we are at one of the world's biggest, greatest, oldest races. We're fully representing NASCAR. We know Rocky's sports car experience, Formula One world champion. And yet the team is proud to say three NASCAR drivers as well, Jimmy. Tell me about that. There is shared experience in Cup. There really is. I mean, Rocky's had two NASCAR starts. Jensen's been in uh, one or two. Just the one. Just the one. He has another one coming up. So uh, it's been fun to watch these guys get used to the garage the six vehicle and also the Cup car. Just such a different different animal to drive and to throw around the racetrack. So it's neat to, you can see the progress everybody's making. The, tr the trophy cabinet's a little bit different. Yes. <laughs> for, for Jimmy and us doing NASCAR. He's done a little bit better. Than and he owns a team too. Has he been a good teammate and invited you to do more cup races? <sighs> Trash. Next, next right? question, please. Yeah, <laughs> Nick, man, this guy. Yeah, he knows how we treat his car here. That's right. He's yeah. like, ma, I don't need you guys in my team. Jensen, you were telling, relaying a great story about Jimmy and his youth and off road and crashing and falling asleep and being stranded for 17 hours. It's stories like that that tell me you guys are having a great time behind the scenes. Tell me about that side as well. You're not just here as drivers. You become friends too. Yeah, I mean, we, you, you have to be. You spend so much time together uh, when you're preparing for a big race like Le Mans. And for, for us especially because, you know, we're, we're in such a different world to all these guys. They're competing against each other. They know these cars very well. For us, we're still... Well, we're not now, but we were learning the whole process, really, and uh, and trying to turn a stock car, uh, a cup car, into a Le Mans car. So um, it's been a really fun journey. The last time I raced at Le Mans, I did one day of testing. This time, I think we've done eight days or something. I have, and these guys have obviously been testing before that. So in 24-hour tests, you, you get to know each other pretty well, and the way that they like things, and also how you know, people's demeanor and uh, during the night when they're tired and what have you, it's always interesting to see. Who left the toilet seat up again? <laughs> the end. Rocky, tell me about this experience for you among the three year lifelong sports car expert champion. What's it been like taking your knowledge with a roof over your head and applying it to a vehicle with a roof over its head that's unlike pretty much everything you've spent your career in? Um, I mean, when I heard about the idea uh, back in Sebring, actually, when they announced it, um, you know, some, some people asked me, hey, are you interested to do it? And I thought it's kind of crazy, you know, to, to bring an ASCA to Le Mans. But when I realized who is involved uh, in terms of partners, I mean, Team Henry, uh, yeah, so many people, right? Goodyear, Chevy. Um, I knew it's going to be cool, and then when I heard about my teammates, 
uh, even more so. Uh, it's just, I think, an honor to have this unique opportunity. Uh, from a technical side, I think we, you know, at the end it's still the car and you want to be quicker. And we had some freedom, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, so we could basically improve the car in every area, kind of. And uh, I think that's what we did and that's what we tried. And we're here to put on a show and uh, to finish the race, hopefully, um, as, as high as we can in the ranks. And uh, yeah, present that car to the world of Europe, to the Le Mans fans and uh, hopefully um, make them smile. Jimmy, you spent so much of your career driving a car with Rick Hendrick's name on it. Jensen was telling us yesterday, having been inside the organization now, this is Formula One, IndyCar, you name it. This is an elite organization. Tell folks about what you're seeing here with your kind of longtime family transplanted to Le Mans, is it still that same feeling of that quality and culture? It is. I mean, Hendrick Motorsports is an amazing uh, facility, amazing organization. And, you know, I've spent 19 full years in Cup there and a few before kind of getting, getting uh, used to the place, if you will. And what's amazing is many of the engineers, mechanics, uh, the interior guy, these are guys that I won championships with and, and, and worked with at Hendrick Motorsports. So to come back and to be a part of this program is returning home in many ways. Uh, it's been, been really cool. Jensen, you accustomed to Formula One pit stops that take 0.0, .0 seconds. You're in and out in no time. Pit stops here are going to take us a little bit longer. Tell me about your pit crew, though. These <laughs> folks, these are elite athletes sprinting up and down, doing their training here. I've never seen anything like it at Le Mans, but tell me about the athletes surrounding this car they're going to serve us. Yeah, well, normally the racing drivers are the fit guys in the team, but here, uh, here <laughs> we're not. So, no, they're, they're uh, absolute machines. And if you've never seen the NASCAR pit stop, um, first of all, you should watch a NASCAR race, but then also to watch these guys go to work, uh, it's phenomenal. Uh, and the funny thing is, you, in F1, they're all there waiting for you, so you drive into your box and they change them really quick, which is great. But here, you arrive, and as you're arriving, that's when they run out. Um, a little different regulations here, they have to wait until you turn the engine off, but in, in, in NASCAR, they're running out in front of the car before you've come to a stop. Um, you'll never hit them because they'll always be out of the way in time. But uh, and they're super fast, and it's just it's just clinical. It's just fantastic to watch. And I think that's one thing that's special for us. We don't have air jacks here, like every other car in the pit yeah. lane and every other car that's raced at Le Mans for the last thirty years. But um, we have a jack still. <laughs> so a manual jack. These guys are going to be jacking the car up and changing the tires. So if you get a chance, watch these guys at work. It's art in motion. I want to see the three of you guys practice a pit stop. That would be phenomenal. Granted, there'd be a Take lot a of laughter. Than yeah, yeah. These guys Just did. a wee bit. We are almost at our garage, so let's close on this. This is a project commissioned by Mr. France, Jim France. This is paying honor to the tradition of NASCAR coming here in the mid 1970s. Whether it's Mr. France, whether it's Mr. Hendrick, John Doonan, who's managing the project. It's a lot of folks who love this sport and wanted to create basically a love letter for Americans fans, NASCAR, and the world. The three of you, give me just a little thought about what it's like knowing the folks up top sending you here really to represent us. It's an honor. I mean, it really is. I think we've all uh, I felt very privileged to, to receive the invite. Uh, there's a ton of interest to be a part of this program and uh, to be here and kind of representing the, uh, the NASCAR side as a NASCAR, former NASCAR driver. Uh, to be back with so many good faces and partners, just a true honor. What about you, Rob? Yeah, I think I've said it before, it's uh, what Jimmy, you know, I just can't repeat it. It's an honor. Uh, you get goosebumps when you just talked about it. Um, and, and we are part of it. We are able to drive this car, represent all these people and, and, and great names. Um, I'm just enjoying it. With everything you've raised, Jensen, I think after this, the only thing left for you to do is submarine racing and maybe <laughs> going to the moon. But this is a pretty cool thing for you uh, among a really long life CV of racing. Yeah, I, I feel very, very privileged. You know, I think we, we all do, but uh, probably us do a little bit more. I mean, this guy is basically NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but for us, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a massive privilege. I never thought I'd have NASCAR written on my... <laughs> you get to keep this too on, on my race suit. Uh, no matter what they yeah. say, we keep a suit. Yes, <laughs> no, uh, we're, we're 
very lucky, but you know, we've every single person in this team has worked super hard to get this car ready for for, for Le Mans, and um, I think it really adds to the hundredth hundredth uh, year of, of Le Mans. It's such a special car, and you see all the messages from people. You see all the messages from people in terms of how the car looks and how it sounds. And it puts a smile on your face. And that's what's great about it. Garage 56 Drivers 2023, 100th anniversary, the first 24 hours of Le Mans. You might not see it at all times, you'll hear it for sure.